Hi, my name is Maren Siewitz and I'm a research associate at Hafen City University Hamburg. The paper I will be presenting today, also on behalf of my co-authors Carsten Schlesier and Annette Bügle, is titled Designing Lightweight Structures from Recyclable and Organic Materials, the Rethinking Lightweight Pavilion. This pavilion participates in the Working Group 21 competition as a build prototype and is the result of an intense interdisciplinary teamwork of young designers and engineers from the fields of architecture and structural design. Is it possible to use materials suitable for the circular economy in bending active tensile structures? This project documents the approach to rethinking lightweight structures to face the growing scarcity of resources. In recent years, the focus on high strength and slender cost sections in the design of lightweight structures has led to increasingly advanced composite materials. Since these materials have severe limitations in terms of their recyclability, this raises new challenges for designers and engineers in the use of raw materials. In order to reduce the environmental impact, this research investigates the use of fully recyclable materials made from renewable resources in bending active tensile structures. We used an experimental approach through the design of a pavilion and started with the most crucial point, selecting appropriate materials for the bending active and for the form active structural components. In terms of the bending active behavior, we have chosen ash wood. This wood has been used in traditional archery due to its high elasticity and low creep behavior. It also has a dense and straight grain cross-section and has therefore also been used in scientific research. In contrast, as a structural membrane, we decided to use the organic fabric made from North German sheep's wool for the first time. The sheep you see in this picture belongs to the endangered old land breed of Pomeranian coarse wool sheep. They originally served to preserve the local cultural landscape in northern Germany. The wool of the sheep is a byproduct that is difficult to market profitably, as there is hardly any use for it in the modern clothing industry. Only very recently, a small company named Nordwolle refocused on these local raw materials and handcrafts. The wool is washed and spun, preserving the natural properties and the color of the wool. The yarn obtained is then processed into a strong fabric. Through the subsequent traditional thermodynamic process of fulling, the so-called Loden cloth acquires high form stability and durability. There is no need to further modify the natural fabric. It is naturally water repellent and is high tech from nature. The selected materials meet our requirements in being able to be completely returned to the material cycle. Furthermore, the materials of the two load bearing structural elements come from the rural areas of northern Germany and are therefore also regional. In the following laboratory tests, we determined the modulus of elasticity of the wooden laths. The wool fabric was then subjected to uniaxial loading in both warp and full directions. After this, we used the biaxial testing machine at Hafen City University to test the load bearing behavior of the traditionally woven and fulled fabric in accordance with the current EU code. The selected materials are used in the design of the pavilion as follows. To meet the competition requirements, we chose a modular design. Each module consists of two bending active rods, which are bent into their geometry by either a form active membrane or two form active membrane strips. At the same time, the residual forces of the rods provide the necessary pretension of the membrane and the strips. The individual modules are coupled to each other using pin connections. The arrangement of the basic modules in two shifted layers creates a stable static system. In principle, the modules can be assembled in a variety of ways to form an overall structure that is depending on the reciprocal interaction of the two structural elements. The shape is the result of a parametric design with the module height and the rod length as variables. This also included the form finding of the modules using the Grasshopper plugin Kiwi 3D. We verified these findings by constructing a mock-up structure. We did not use the full surface membranes in all of the modules, but small straps of the warp direction of the material instead. The wooden laths measure 4 mm in height and 40 mm in width. The strips are constructed in double layers that measure 25 mm in width. 
the lengths of all these individual elements derive from the parametric design model. We also had to take the compensation of the material into account that was measured from the biaxial tests. This resulted in a shortened assembly of all straps. In order to control the pretension in the membrane straps, we used a custom-made device that allowed us to regulate the bending stresses in the wooden laths. In addition, the strips have several sawn-in pockets on each side, into which the wooden dowel can be secured. Overall, the pavilion structure shows that both our calculations and the careful detailing of the structure were correct, since the required lengths of the membrane straps were achieved. The pavilion's connection plates, screws, nuts and washers are made of steel, while viscose is used for the seams on the structural membrane. This results in a lightweight structure created from fully recyclable materials. Every part of the structure can be completely disassembled and separated by material type. In addition, the main components of the pavilion are made from renewable and completely organic resources. The Rethinking Lightweight Pavilion demonstrates that the use of materials suitable for the circular economy can make an inspiring contribution to lightweight structures of the future. The research presented in this presentation would not have been possible without the help of others. A big thank you to the students of the design workshop whose tireless motivation and intense work input led us to this competition entry. I further wish to thank our sponsors for supporting this research project. This is the end of my short presentation. If you have questions, please feel free to contact me. I also look forward to the discussion in the session. Thank you for watching.